the top comment on my Trent Shotgun Sucks episode is that I only talked about the shells of the gun and not the gun itself, and so therefore the gun's perfect. But there are some faults with the 97. Uh, first, the hammer metallurgy was not great, and that could lead to damage on the spur, that could lead to damage on the face of the hammer, and if the face of the hammer is damaged, you might get inconsistent primer strikes, leading to maybe the gun goes off, maybe the gun doesn't go off. The sear was also very weak, and the more you slam fire the gun, the more you damage that sear. Once that sear is broken, the gun doesn't really function because the hammer won't stay back. And best case scenario, it doesn't function. Worst case scenario, when you go to rack that slide forward, the gun goes off in slam fire mode when you don't want it to. Uh, and then the other big problem with it is that it's got a cartridge guide. This little rod that comes up here uh, prevents the cartridge from flying out the right side of the gun when you're trying to load a new cartridge. Uh, that's all held together by one pin. So if you forget to put that pin back in when you assemble the bolt or that pin shears off, your gun now doesn't like to cycle.